What's up guys, welcome back to Aquatic Elements. As you could tell by the title and thumbnail, once again, we have some new fish going into the Monster Fish Mega Tank. Now it feels like nearly every video I'm buying some new fish or adding some new fish, but I'm hoping that this is gonna be it for the near future. Now, obviously those of you who watched the Thailand tour, you would have seen that I really, really absolutely loved the albino stingrays. And in my aquarium, we have an albino hybrid, albino pearl crossed with an albino black diamond. And then we also have the albino pearl stingray. The other stingrays I've got in the tank are my P14 cross black diamond and also the mini marble Matoro. Now, luckily, I have come to a situation where someone has a albino pearl that they would like to rehome, and I also am trying to rehome my mini marble and P14 cross stingray. So I'm actually going to be doing a swap. So these two stingrays are going to be going to a new tank today, and I'm going to be getting the third and final albino stingray. Now, previously, I've had four or five rays in this tank, but I'm actually going to be going down to three and keeping it at three stingrays. Now, this means that those stingrays have a lot more room, obviously, having four stingrays. As they get bigger, they're going to need a lot of room, but going down to those three stingrays means that they're going to have a lot more room in the aquarium, and also, they are males, so they're going to stay a little bit smaller. So, I'm going to head off now. I'm going to do the swap, the two... Stingrays, the blue blueberry stingray and also sugar are going to be leaving us today. So I'm going to say my goodbyes. I'm going to take them to their new owner and pick up our new albino stingray. So I'm going to hit the road now and I'll catch you when I get back with our brand new stingray. A few moments later. And I am now back. The swap was successful and just down there is our new stingray. So I'm just going to grab the bag. It is going to be a little bit heavy. But in this bag, we have our new albino pearl stingray. So this is another male stingray. So that will bring our collection to three albino stingrays. So I'm gonna get him acclimated into the aquarium. The tank he came out of was about 27.5 degrees and my tank is 26.5 degrees. So a slight difference it is a very, very warm day. I'm gonna use my laser temperature gun as you can see here. So this displays the temperature so I can check what the bag is currently at. And he's currently sitting at 28 degrees. So he's probably gonna take a little bit of time to get acclimated to the aquarium. So I reckon I'll leave him about 40 minutes in the tank and then we can release him and check him out. Now he is definitely a little bit smaller than our other albino pearl lemon. Um, we will need a name suggestion for this new one. I've decided to call the big hybrid albino stingray white chocolate chip after chocolate chip that left the monster fish mega tank. So we've got white chocolate chip, we've got lemon, and we finally need a new name for this ray. So I'm going to open up the glass lids and then we can let our new ray acclimate. Probably just pop him in now and then I'll probably catch you guys in, I don't know, about 40 minutes maybe once he's acclimated. So you can see him just there. Hopefully you can see him on camera. Um, he's not that much smaller than our existing albino pearl, but he's probably about this sort of size. I'd say about four and a half inches. Really, really nice long tail to him as well. Lovely, lovely tail, really nice markings. And I'm hoping over the next couple of months, those colors are really gonna come out. But I'll catch you guys in about 40 minutes and then we can check him out and release him into the aquarium. Now the stingray has been acclimating for about 40 minutes and you can see I've actually opened the bag and I have actually added a little bit of aquarium water. Normally I just do a temperature acclimation but on this occasion I decided to add a little bit of aquarium water to the bag but the temperatures are the same. I've used my temperature gun as you can see here to make sure those temperatures are the same and we're going to now be releasing our new pearl stingray or albino pearl stingray into the aquarium. I've got my round net which I always use for smaller rays. Nice shallow net and hopefully we can pick this guy out of the bag nicely and stress free and then he'll go into the new aquarium. Obviously I'm not going to feed him for the first few days but if I just get him out of the bag now hopefully feel play ball. So here we go, just got him in the net and I'm just going to hold him up here to the camera so you can see him. 
just before we release him but he's looking really really nice really really nice stingray lovely markings and hopefully they're going to strengthen and deepen as he gets older just like our other albino pearl but i'm going to release him now into the aquarium and we'll let him settle in and then we can check him out in maybe tomorrow or a couple of days it has now been 24 hours since we've added the new stingray to the monster fish mega tank and i'm really really happy with how he has settled into the aquarium you can see his colors started to come back a little bit and obviously this fish hopefully is going to put on a lot of weight over the next couple of months to catch up in size with the other two rays that we have in the aquarium but overall, I'm very, very happy with how he's doing. He has been eating a little bit of bloodworm already, which I'm quite surprised about. I thought it would take him a few days to sort of settle in before he started feeding. But I am pleased to say that he is eating already, even within this 24-hour period. Hopefully, he's going to come back out from the little cave down there and show us his colours. But overall he's doing really really well you can see the rest of the monster fish mega tank now i have just fed the fish probably about 20 minutes ago so they're all pretty much active and out and about you can see here is our other hybrid albino stingray so that is white chocolate chip just there really really stunning ray and i can't wait to see how this ray turns out over the next few months and how the pattern develops and changes over in the back we have lemon you can see the pearl stingray right in the back just behind the stormy eye catfish and then we've got our fly river turtle as well just down under the wood that's all his little spot that he likes to hide under and then obviously we've got a dapnoid lurking in the shadows but the new stingray has decided to come out of the cave he's really really active he's not really hiding too much which is nice to see so he definitely must be happy in his new home and obviously that pattern is going to change and develop as he gets older and it's going to turn out very similarly to lemon which is over in that far corner that i pointed out earlier quite quite difficult to see hopefully he comes out into the light a little bit more so you can see his colors but he's got a really really good color nice spotting that's obviously going to develop and he's got a really really long tail to him as well nice fully complete tail which is also nice to see not been nibbled on or sort of pecked by any of the other fish so that is the update on the new stingray 24 hours after acclimation but i just want to show you sort of a big full tank shot of the monster fish mega tank going into the evening it's really nice in this evening lighting when it gets darker outside and the focus is really on the fish and the tank but overall i'm really really happy with how he settled in and also how the rest of the fish are doing in this aquarium so i don't have any other plans to add any new fish to the tank also a little update on the clown knife or the royal clown knife he's actually hidden back there you probably can't see him but he actually likes to hide back in that area so he's still not sort of used to the other fish just yet but i'm hoping over the next couple of months he'll get a bit more bold and he'll come out more into the aquarium but the aquarium is looking nice and lively lots of action but still lots of space for the monster fish as well so that's it on the update of the new stingray and his acclimation into the monster fish mega tank and i'm bound to do a big update on the tank soon and sort of go through how the system runs with the filtration also the aquascape the fish the stocking and probably some feeding as well so i'll just wrap up the video there and that is it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed seeing the new albino stingray enter into the monster fish mega tank and i'm really really happy with how he has settled in i'm obviously as i mentioned going to do updates on this tank and also our mini monster aquarium as well in the near future but i think that's going to be all of the fish added to this tank for the time being if you do have any questions leave them down below and if you're not already make sure to follow us on instagram facebook and tiktok the links are down below for daily videos on the monster fish mega tank the mini monster fish aquarium and also much much more but that's it for today's video thank you all for watching remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping